A very unique fossil recently found in the Manzano Mountains underwent a unique test today. The fossil belongs to a shark being called the Manzano Tinacanth. And today it underwent a CAT scan so scientists can learn more about it. And as Catherine Mazone reports, they found some surprises. Are we ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Paleontologist John Paul Hodnett has waited a year and a half for this. An in depth look at a 300 million year old fossil he found on a professional field trip in the Manzanos. Well, I was cleaving off a piece of shale and I hit this bump. And from hitting that bump, I decided, oh, what the heck is this? And I, I peeled it up, and it turned out to be this kind of long bone, uh, almost like a limb bone of like some reptile or amphibian. And I thought, oh, hey, this is cool. This is big. But Hodnett didn't know just how big his discovery was until today. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, go back, go back, go back. Go back. There are the gill arches. We got them. It's one of the few complete bodies of a tinacanth shark fossil ever found, and the first found in New Mexico. But that's not what has Hodnett most excited. It's the fact he's able to learn even more about this rare fossil by putting it through a CAT scan. If we had to cut into the rock and extract the bones, we would inevitably change their shape or damage them or otherwise alter them. So the CAT scan allows us to see anatomy that we would never see. With the scan, Hodnett is able to determine whether this shark is an ancestor to modern sharks or an advanced primitive shark. Oh, there it is. That's the part I'm looking for. This is a, an advanced primitive shark. Not a uh, answer to the modern sharks. Hodnett has learned the entire skull is intact. I'm still uh, processing what I just saw, so it's, I, I, it's hard to me to uh, describe how I'm feeling. And he's right not here. the only one. To me, it's like owning the Mona Lisa of sharks. Catherine Mazone, KRQE News 13. Hodnett says the next step is to do comparative research to determine the exact relationship between this shark and other sharks like it. Now, the curator at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science says it won't go on display at the museum for at least two years.